Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hey, hey, Romulo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, uh, I couldn't yesterday because uh, I have a problem with uh, uh, because uh, I, I wasn't a, a, a compromise with my family and I, I couldn't I stay on time. No problem, no problem. It happens sometimes. Hello. Yeah. Okay. And what did you do today? Uh, today, I, I went to the Lourdes Colón and and after that, uh, I went to the, do you know about the, uh, the Linda Vista Garden is uh, like a uh, the restaurant restaurant right because uh, uh, we have a uh, training in that place uh, I, I returned to the afternoon that's okay in my house <laughs> okay good, good. And, yeah. and the food the food was good yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Yes, uh, it has a great view, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the idea, right? Linda Vista Garden. That's that's where they have it. Mm -hmm. Did you see Beethoven? Yeah, <laughs> cute. Huh? Yeah, I I I I have a picture with Beethoven too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Do you yeah. know the other teacher, right? I no. don't. I don't. Uh huh. Uh, it's a it's a dog, but uh, San Bernardo. It is uh, the breed. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. That's the pet of that place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's been there for many years, then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So what we're going to do right now is the same thing. We're just going to take a moment. We're going to make our groups. We're going to catch up and see a little bit about our day, okay, and talk about the activities, what was good about it, what was bad about it, and, you know, just to catch up for a moment. And then we're going to begin our conversations. What was your day? It was, uh, I think, was good, but really fast. Really fast? Oh. Really fast. Okay. And you? No. Uh, I, I told, I told teachers that uh, I went to the Lourdes Colón in the, in the morning. In the afternoon, I went to the Linda Vista Garden because uh, uh, my organization uh, uh, the class. <laughs> yeah, but I said okay. Let's try, but really let's try. I had to learn. I had to learn English. <laughs> I have to. Right. Learn it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I know, but it's Thursday, you know. That tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, oh no, we tomorrow we're gonna have class. I think. Yes. Yes, we are. It's last. Yeah. It's last. <laughs> This is the last from for this week. No, tomorrow is the this last. This week. <laughs> Why? Because last week we didn't have class Monday and Tuesday. So we had to do Friday for Monday, and this week we are doing Friday for Tuesday. I don't know if yeah. I could. <laughs> <laughs> no, Friday for Monday. Yeah. Tuesday, at least. No week. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah. idea, right? We usually say, ah, oh, it's Friday. I can relax. Yeah. No, nope. not this week. Not this week. <laughs> <laughs> but teacher, we only I have two, or, two lessons. Or, or, oh. Excuse me, Elizabeth. 
No, I was saying that I, I was, I was, um, I was seeing in the in the platform that we only had two two more uh, sections. That's right. And we had two more weeks, right? That's right. It's so, enough uh, so it's, information. Yeah, it's, 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 of course, because we have the sections that is, is pretty much one per week. Plus, mm -hmm. we still have to do the, uh, the final test. We have to do the review. You have to do the midterm exam. So mm -hmm. with, with those things, kind of, more or less, we, we end up finishing up everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll let you guys continue. Hang on. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So tomorrow, Veronica will have class, so. <clears throat> yourself and your family and try to do not to be out there. But uh, there is a lot of uh, new place uh, with uh, good food. And mm -hmm. if you like the cow, the, the, if, uh, a, cow a cafe with uh, coffee with your friends, and a little dessert. This place here in Santa Ana, I think they are really, really good. But I, I enjoy always to visit uh, the Cotepecat Lake, and and I don't know, try to 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 get a, a my dinner with some friends and family. Okay. Hi, Bunny. <laughs> Hi, how are Hi, you? Bessie. Hello. Hi. Hello, Bessie. <laughs> how are you? Oh, thank you, Bunny. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. It's because oh, I don't have the, I, I am not in the, in the, in the WhatsApp group. I don't know oh. why. You never accept you it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, I. That's why you never accept it, Bessie. <laughs> In this moment, I will do it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know why. I, I know you never accept it. <laughs> I try with the link that they, uh, they, they send me by email, but I don't know what happened. It didn't. And when you click on the link, nothing happened. No, it doesn't function. Really? Yes. Hmm. That's, that's why I tell Vanessa that, that I am not in the group. Yeah. But in this, in this moment, I, I'm going to en uh, enjoy. Enjoy and see, right? Join. Yes. Mm -hmm. Join, join, join. Let me see. There I am. And then the chat. Uh, okay. Mm, okay, I understand what happened here. Now you're there? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let me see if I can do it right over here. Okay. And how are you? How you been, everyone? Okay, so uh, we're just caught, catching up a little bit about our day, our activities. The time goes by very fast. Um, I mean, whew, this end of the year is going to be incredible already. This is the second week, imagine. <gasps> Almost half the course already finished tomorrow. Tomorrow half the course is finished. So whew, it's, it, it goes by pretty fast. 
So what we're going to do is a, we are on 3.7, which is a conversation. Um, first, we're going to listen, and then we're going to practice it. So we're going to listen, make sure that all of the vocabulary, the pronunciation is everything is okay, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Language might be useful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay, so first, are there any words you don't know from this conversation? Um, no. Not teacher. Okay, great. Not so, teacher. okay, perfect. So, as you can see, our topic is how to do something, recommend something, right? We're talking about how to improve, okay? This is 3.7, um, and it says maybe I should try that. That's that's the idea is that sometimes you hear people doing something and you say hey that's a good thing i can do that that maybe that works for me okay so that's the idea if you notice it is we are using many different structures in there a lot of them have to do with the ing okay what is he doing ah, i'm listening um sticking um all, all of these different things uh finding okay so we're gonna hear the rest of the conversation and find out what happens does she try that? She doesn't try that, okay? So let's listen to the rest of the conversation and see what happens. Yep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? One. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus, and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know I put all the words together that have to do with food, or work, or home, or school. Whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on our discussion box. Okay. Two conversations, right? They're talking about two different things, um, and all of them are about the same topic, how to learn new words in a foreign language. So how to learn new vocabulary, um, and even the idea in their own vocabulary, in their own language. So what are the techniques? What, what's the first one? What does the person say? And the, what are some of the things that they do? Use the cards. They use cards, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Write write the word in oh, one yes. side, in another side uh, try to mean in the, the or describe the, the word. And he study when the, 
go to the laundry, I think, or uh, when then he he stay in, in the bus. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty good. Anybody else? Any any extra information? So we have, he writes the word on one side, he uses a card, he puts the definition on the other. Anything else? Listen in the, the language CDs. Mm -hmm. And he also says he tries to use the words, right? He tries to use them in a sentence. That's how it helps him. He tries to use the words in a sentence. Right? What about the second person? What does the second person do? She write it down on the notebook. She has a like a dictionary book with the new word. That's right. She has like a little dictionary. Mm -hmm. She says she write she write the words uh, in alf alf alphabetic order. That's right. Alphabetical order. Alpha alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she learns a new vocabulary and she writes them in order in her notebook. And she's, she thinks, she really thinks you have to memorize it. You have to memorize the words. Okay. So, yes, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Now that's what we're going to do with our partners. And uh, we're going to go back and we're going to do two things. One, we're going to practice this conversation. So one person is going to be Kelly. One person is going to be Wang Yu. Then we're going to talk about what techniques we think are best to learn new vocabulary words. Okay, so practice the conversation one and then talk about what do you think? What are the best about, ways to learn? About the bit or your own technique? Your, your own technique. What do you think? Okay. Uh -huh. How do you learn new vocabulary? How do you memorize it? Or uh, do you write it on stickers? Do you put it in a notebook? Do you listen to it? Do you speak? What, what do you do? So that's the idea. First, one more time, practice the conversation. And number two, then talk about what would be, what do you think is a good way to learn it? Okay. 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 All right, hang on. Gong Yu. <laughs> Gong Yu. Exactly. Okay. Okay, Artu. Okay, Kelly. Kelly, no, Artu. <laughs> so, so how's your friend's class going? So. Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a, a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CD. That's, that's, that's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I, I learn new English words best by reading them on pieces of paper and sticking them on themes in my room. I look up then every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Okay. okay. Now, do you want to, to switch. switch on K? It's correct. It's correct. I am Let's going switch. you. Teacher, switch. Okay. Yes, so, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so, 
how's your French class going? No bad, but I find it, the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You can improve your essence by listening to language CDs. That's a, a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I knew English words best by reading them on a piece of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm, maybe I should try something like that. Great. <laughs> okay. Okay, and now we got to try uh, with our own work, right? That's right. You what are your ideas? CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you, how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget the new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on piece of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look up, I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Um, maybe I should try something like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And now we have to discuss how is the best way to learn new English words. I for think you practicing, 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 and practicing. At first, when I start to, to learn English, I was very afraid. Long time ago, I was very afraid because I didn't like people laugh of me. I, I really, it was like something really bad to me. But then I start to, to listen the Carpenter's CDs because uh, some teacher, uh, a teacher told me that, that, that the girls, the, the, the girl, the, the singers, uh, her, her language, her songs were very, very good to, to, they, they were very very easy to to learn with them and, and I, I think that was a good idea and that helped me a lot. Okay, that's a good method to improve your English. In my case, I use it like music too because it was like I used to look for the lyrics and write them on my notebook. So I have like a mini album of lyrics that are my favorite songs. So I did that when I started to learn, but that that was like my, my method. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna try that, for example. Other, um, other idea is, is watching movie in English, in, in mm -hmm. say, subtitulada. With, uh, in English, subtitled, but in English. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Speak English and let it in. The, the, the movie or, 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 or series in English, but I use a traduct traductor in, 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 in English, right? Not in Spanish. Uh, I, 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 cut, I get uh, some words that I don't understand and, and looking, I try to, to, to uh, don't use a, a dictionary like a, a, only a Google, Google traductor, right? In my phone, I have a, a traductor a app application. Yeah, yeah, and, I, me too. and always when you if you want to try to to to, to speak and uh, you can say the conversation and then you can uh, li listen right what what do you say what did you say and, and, and try to 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 get better and and practice uh, a lot 
And yeah. <clears throat> when I I watch uh mm -hmm. and I start to hear the the they put a, a, a like a short class in the Facebook. And okay. the girl was explaining how to you say the numbers, but it was very difficult. <laughs> very, yes. very difficult. The pronunciation, yeah. And okay, I say I, I need to learn first English and then I'm going to learn another language. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. But I guess that is very interesting. German. German. Germany. Germany. Mm -hmm. I don't hear. Teacher, I can hear you. Oh, we can, we can hear, hear you. you. Can you no. hear me now? Can you hear me or no? No. Yes. 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 Okay. Now. now. Right now. Now. Okay. now. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So I, I was saying that now that you have practiced a little bit about your ideas and how to express, how to learn the language, um, do other things, we're going to be using how we use the word by. We can use normally, you think of by is the person that does an action. So, or for example, the book was written by uh, William Shakespeare. The painting was by somebody else. But today we're gonna be using by to describe how to do it, okay? So how can you improve your accent? How can you learn new words? How can you find the best way to learn slang, okay? And we use it with by and ing. So you can improve your accent by listening to language CDs. How do you learn new words? Oh, I learn new words by writing them on a piece of paper and sticking them on things, okay? The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. So you can use a positive form of not to do this, okay? Or you can use, uh, uh, sorry, the, the negative form of not to do this or a positive form of yes, how to do it. So that's what we're gonna take a moment. We're gonna practice it. So. First, we're gonna watch this small video to make sure that it's clear. Uh, all of them are in already in the WhatsApp group of these the slides that we're gonna see, but in the usage for by, but really we use by in different situations. But today we're gonna be using it in describing how to do something. Okay, how do you make pupusas? How do you make? How do you tie your shoes? How do you do whatever? Whatever you want to do, you can use also the word by by and then with ing so let's watch and listen to the video and then we'll talk about it welcome this time we'll talk about by plus gerund and its three uses number one to say how something can be done number two to describe how something was done and number three to describe how something could be done remember you could improve your grammar by taking notes Page 53, exercise nine, grammar focus. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. Let's go over each use of by plus gerund. Ready? Number one, to say how something can be done. For example, you can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Number two, to describe how something was done. Example, I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. Number three, to describe how something could be done. One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. Just remember to always use by plus a gerund to describe how to do things. Can you share with us some advice to improve and better in English? What has worked? Type your answers so others may follow your advice. 
Okay, so as we can see, the main reason to use by is to Aaron. describe how to do something, right? But they really have three functions, okay? Um, to say how something can be done, to say in the past how something was done, or to say in the future how something could be done. But no, no, no sound? Yes? Ah, okay, all right. I wasn't sure. Okay, and in the third one is how to say something could be done in the future. So all of them describe how to do something, but the difference is it can be used for present, for past, or future. That's just so that it's clear. So you can use by and ing, okay? All by and ing, and all of them are just talking about boom, how you do something. Okay, so in the first one, we noticed that at the beginning, we use the verb in present. I can improve. This is now, right? That's, it's still by an ing. But the, the first part of the verb, is, the first part of the sentence is the verb in present. And the second, number two, the verb is in past. I learned, but the part of by is the same, by watching TV. The by and ing does not change. What changes is the beginning of the sentence. If you use the present, it's for the present meaning. If you use the past, it's for the past meaning. Or if you're using expressions for the future, it's for the future meaning. But all use by. By with ing. Does that make sense? is not by that tells the time. By is only tells you how to do something. Is the first part of the sentence that tells you the time, if it's present, past, or future. Here, verb present, so it's in the present. Here, verb past, so it's in the past. Here, expression for the future of becoming, that's in the future. So, this, the meaning is in the future. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes, teacher, I think so. For example, in a future example, you will, um, uh, you will, you will improve your accent by listening to language. Correct, series. correct, because you use will, so yes. Mm -hmm. You will improve your accent by, and this, uh huh. Or if you think it's now, you can improve your accent by listening to language CDs. Okay. Or for personal experience, I learned, uh, or sorry, I improved my accent by learning, or by listening to uh, CDs. Does that make sense for everyone? Yes. Okay, so what we're doing is, um, one more time, it's, in case you're not clear, it's in the WhatsApp group, which is by and ing. It's only the first part of the expression that tells you the difference, if it's in present, past, or future. So we're gonna give different situations to our partners. So we're gonna make partners and we're gonna give them a situation, okay? How to do something. I want to know how to do something, okay? So um, I don't know, I want to know how to cook. Or, and your my partner is going to tell me, oh, you can cook by, or you can learn to cook by doing this, okay? Or I I want to weigh, gain weight, I want to lose weight, or whatever you want. It's only describing how you did something, or maybe you learned something. For example, Veronica, Veronica, do you know how to swim? Uh, not really. Just no. To survive. Just to survive, okay, all right. <laughs> Just flow <Sorry>. like. <laughs> uh-huh. Like flow, flow like a rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. So this is the idea, okay? I, uh, you, you can describe to your partners, ah, if you, you know, uh, you can learn to swim by whatever you want in the future or, maybe your personal experience. I learned to swim by doing this. Um, I think, I can't remember, um, I think Jose is a programmer. Jose, are you an are you engineer? No, or I can't remember. I think somebody, Elizabeth, was that you? 
Not me. <laughs> not you, not you. I don't think, I can't remember. So, but the, let's say that, let's say that Bessie was a programmer and then she's just describing, oh, I learned to program by, you know, reading books, by uh, attending class, by whatever it is. So we just... How do you learn English, teacher? I learn English by practicing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Did yeah. you where? Did you went to? Did you live in the U.S. or just here learning here? <laughs> no, no. I, I, well, I did, I did live here, but also I went to the U.S. to study, and with the two things, and in the U.S. I didn't know English, so I actually went first. In the beginning, I had to go to a Spanish school that teaches English, like a Spanish immersion, like that, that it helps you integrate little by little, not all the classes in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I learned practicing, practicing, and practicing. And you know, the, the, the most interesting thing for me that I learned, and I, and I, and I have to say that I have seen it so much, so much in Latin America, not just in Salvador, because I have students from Guatemala and from Honduras and from others, is that the fear of being laughed at. In, in Latin America, so many people are scared to be laughed at or to make a mistake. And in the US, nobody cares. You go and everybody is learning English, everybody's making mistakes and you are communicating and the people mix one language and they mix the other and they put English with Spanish and they say all of these things. And you know, it, you feel embarrassed, you feel that it's bad, but it's all in your mind. It's not the reality. It's not a reality. Mm. It's only a reality. It depends on. No, it's, it's only a reality when you go out of the classroom. It's only a reality when you go out and you have these, the, the, the people that are racist. But most people, if you live in, in societies or in places like New York, Florida, California, they are used to having a lot of immigrants. So for them, it's not a problem. Yeah, they, they just don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why you see so many people so crazy in the U.S. They dress with flying colors and purple and green, and they, they live their life. It's not like... A, it doesn't care. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. But the biggest, for me, the thing that I learned is, I think the biggest problem for learning the language is yourself. And you say, oh, I know. Did I say this correctly? Did I brew it right? Did I, uh, am I, is this the right word? Is this the right phrase? But mm -hmm. in reality, in the necessity, the important is communicate. And with more and more practice, you learn to communicate more and more fluently. But at the beginning, it's difficult. But with more and more practice, you learn. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about it, guys. It's okay if you make mistakes, if you're not sure. The important is to stop trying to speak perfectly and start working on speaking. Work on speaking because it's not, it, the hardest thing is to hear someone speak. I learned to speak and by the time they finish, oh my God, you, you don't pay attention. Is <laughs> You don't. You don't. It's, it's, better, it's better to go the other way. It's better to say, Romulo, eh, yo hambre tengo pizza, uh, uh, comemos. <laughs> then, then to say, it's better to say this, because with Romulo, he understands and it's no problem, than to say, yo tengo hambre I mean, because by the time, if you are worried always about being perfect, never you're going to speak because you are never going to be perfect. Even in Spanish, we make mistakes. So the important is to get used to just speaking, just speaking. And that's what we're going to do right now with our partners. We want to focus on that. We don't worry about it. All we want to do is give solutions to problems. How can you solve that? Okay. And we're going to use by. Okay. I, I want to... I want to get free internet. How can I get free internet? I want to learn how to ride a motorcycle. How can I ride a motorcycle? I want to make pupusas. How can I make pupusas? I want to learn how, whatever it is. I want to learn how to dance. How can I learn to how to dance? That's all we're going to do. 
don't worry about it. if it's right, if it's wrong. Just try to get that fluency out, get that fear out of you. Okay? Okay. All right. Let, I know we can do it. Okay. Hang on. Let's. I think. Rocio, is everything okay? I know you came in just a little bit later, um, but do you understand what we're talking about? Yes, teacher. All right. I think so. Okay. No I problem. have a, an example. I don't know if, is, if it's correct. Um, for example, this is the sentence. Um, you could make your songs happy by giving them a lot of toys this Christmas. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. And then maybe Jose can say, hmm, you can spend a lot of money by giving them toys this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is just, you know, just communicate. All right, let's try it with our groups. Without fear, we have to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Okay. So, give me an advice about um, how to get a good clip. It's the practice well, the by um, use bear ing. Yeah, but the teacher said that we need to create like a. Like a like a problem. So I will say, I want to to learn how to to speak Korean. So you guys need to give me the solution. Oh yeah. Okay. You have to if you want to learn Korean language. By no. So give the salute. Don't worry, Bessie. Don't worry. Don't stop. You just <laughs> you just keep speaking. Don't worry. It's not going to be correct. It's not going to be correct. Communicate. Okay. Communicate. Don't worry. <laughs> if you want to learn Japanese, you say Japanese. Um, I am practicing <laughs> by practicing. <laughs> Also by watching uh, movies with the subtitles in English, you can learn new words and you can hear the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. I don't know for you guys, but for me, for example, the, the accent, the British accent is more difficult uh, for me to understand yeah. than uh, than an American accent is more easy. Yes, me. but yeah. actually I, I like it because they is with your body, but uh, no, no, it's not necessary that you feel feel tired, right? But uh, you know you feel good. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe. Um, you you can you can try to get asleep by exercise breathing. Ah, yeah, you are right. And here, okay. when you breathe, uh, it's a lot, like um, very very deep, very deep. Mm -hmm. Um, you can be relaxing. Yeah. Or. I, I, I heard that uh, people uh, it, it's a uh, functional for them that uh, like uh, uh, improve or your sleep by reading a book before go to the bed, right? Maybe, maybe. Some people say that is they they got a good sleep by by doing yoga, ten minutes yoga before. Before, oh. before, before, 
they, they said that they sleep very well by that. Yeah. Yeah, yoga is really good. I need to pronounce it. Pronounce it. Pronounce. I think that the French, uh, uh, the pronunciation is, is very elegant. Yes. Mm, it is saying the, the Italy. It, Italy? Italy. Italy, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> yes, I, wa I want to do that. You I don't know where French know. by practicing uh -huh. or listening to music. Listening to music, yes. Or maybe I, I have to take a, a I have to take a travel to Paris, and maybe I have to meet a boyfriend right over there. <laughs> a French boyfriend. <laughs> a French <It's> boyfriend. <laughs> to learn a new language. You need to. You need this. Speaker. But you don't need to, to travel to French in a specific, you can travel to Belgique, 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 Belgium, Belgium. I'm sorry, Belgium. I'm good the French pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on Belgium, and there is another, friend, no, Canada. They speak French. Oh, too. yes, in Canada, they speak French. Yeah. That's, we have that's like why that. I want to, to speak French too, to learn mm -hmm. yes. French too. I want to go to Canada too. Yeah. I want I to go like to that. a lot of places. Maybe one of the places that I think that is the more the closer to to our country to practice French. Okay. Maybe. But it's more it's more expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go to 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 Paris, than to go to Canada. You know that. Oh really? Yes. <gasps> okay. My dad told me that when I finished the university, she he would paid a uh, travel to Paris and I was like please don't it's great it's great to be there I'm it's just very great it's very great no. um, in my case I I tried that uh, my father teaching my the class but it's very difficult because they get very nervous so it's better when you are pay for the class with a uh, institution or something like that because they have more passion they are prepared <laughs> <laughs> they are prepared to teach you uh that uh, to how how to drive so i think that is uh, one way one way by uh learning to, to drive okay <laughs> that's <laughs> nice yeah. Yes. And also, just... as Elizabeth says, drive in San Salvador. <laughs> yeah, drive, go to the downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid to to drive in the in the highway because <laughs> I just drive a motorcycle, but it's ah. automatic. <laughs> it's it's the same. It's the same. I have a mo I I had a scooter too, so. It's it's the same. I mean, well, yeah. It's is is you if you if you know the the um, my God the how do you say the <laughs> the traffic rules the traffic laws the traffic what laws the traffic laws. I think that no. you want to say the ruta. Ah, no. The, no. No. Um, my, I forgot the word. Rules. Yeah, but it's no rules. Um, how do you say? It? Where's the teacher? Oh, I'm right here. No. Oh. <laughs> what happened? What happened, Elizabeth? Tell me. Tell me. No, when you learn, when you learn uh, how to drive. Traffic schools. The rules. Traffic school? 
yeah but uh, the, the, the 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 all the sign and all the the the, the how do you, how do you how do you call that the law the traffic uh, the signal the traffic oh my god i forgot the word even in spanish i forgot the word <laughs> <laughs> I tried to remember in Spanish and oh my god no well, uh, forget it yeah you I think, forgot the word don't worry Elizabeth you think about it you think about it we'll help you okay. <laughs> my mind is white let's see what what the um and um, I don't know. Let me think. Um, Maybe some advice to to be less stressful when you got uh you got to work at home. That's difficult, oh. really. That's difficult. You are right. This is oh, and really stressful. Yeah. Uh, to, to have a better environment to work at home, to have home office, is, uh, is to have a place like a place where, I don't know how do you say, separate from the living room, or the kitchen, it's, it's have a, a, a place, always the same place, so you can focus, I think. And try to get clean the, the place that you, you got to work. In this day, I find this little cube, and I ah. think it's, it's, it's a kind of, of uh, this is stress. This is stressful, and uh -huh. I, 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 I can be entrenched. Are it similar? Mm -hmm. So you make a mistake with the time. You 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 say other words. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay. How do you feel with the topic today, describing uh, solutions? Good. Yeah, it's, is it clear how, why we use by and the gerund and how to use it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, teacher. So it's just as, as a recap, the idea is you give the problem, okay? Or, or you give the, the concept so you can improve English, you can learn to dance, you can, or whatever it is that you want, right? Whatever you're talking about, and then you use how to complete it. You use the word by and the verb with ing, okay? Okay. Teacher, the, the, I've, the you word remember the word? Like you remember that, the word? Yeah, the traffic regulation. That's, that's, that's the, the correct, um word you can use traffic uh but the it's, traffic regulation yes you can use traffic regulations um i think would be traffic rules traffic laws mm -hmm. i said traffic rules but i wasn't sure if mm -hmm. it was the right the right um, word okay but that was that was traffic regulation mm -hmm. all of those are okay okay all right, guys, don't forget that tomorrow we still have a class because we're making up from last week, the two classes. Um, so 
uh, have a great night and tomorrow we'll take a look at finishing this and look at the midterm so if you are behind yeah. you have an idea where you should be unit three <laughs> and, and okay that way you have an idea of where to be in the platform okay all right guys okay, okay. Uh, yeah. question yeah tomorrow we are going to have class yes we are but tomorrow is friday that's correct <laughs> <laughs> okay all right i have been in in, in yesterday that's okay. right it's for you bessie for you everybody oh said that hey God. We say, hey, Bessie needs to receive class. And everybody say, hey, hey, everybody volunteer. Everybody say, yeah, me, 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 me. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. It's, so it's for That's you. A lie. <laughs> <laughs> so, but okay, we'll be here. A, we'll be here. We'll be here. Okay. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.